ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದಿ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಬನದೋಪಾಲಭವಾದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕಾಶ್ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವನ್ ರೂಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀರ್ ತ್ವಂ ನಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
कृपा सिंधु सुसंपूर्ण सर्वसत्व पुकारक निस्पृह सर्वत सिद्धो सर्वद्या विशारद सर्वशय संक्षेत्थ अनलस गुरु राहित कृपा सिंधु कृपा सिंधु सुसंपूर्ण सर्वसत्व पुकारक निस्पृह सर्वत सिद्धो सर्वद्या विशारद सर्वशय संक्षेत्थ अनलस गुरु राहित शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पोपा परमंश जगदगुरु गौरी गोष्ठीपति टोल्ड वेन आई एम गोइंग टू थिंक माई सेल्फ सुप्रियर सुपीरियर टू अदर्स देन द क्वेश्चन ऑफ इग्नोरिंग यू और आदर कैन कम गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पोपा परमंश जगदगुरु said that when i can think i am superior to you then the question of insulting you can come when i can think i am superior to you all i am superior to you all then i can try to insult you if i am established in trinath vibhav then there is no question of ignoring guru varga no question of insulting anybody can come so long as we are so long as we are established on the lotus feet of guru pad padma so long as we are situated on the lotus feet of guru pad padma no dissatisfaction can come in our life no dissatisfaction can come no restlessness can come to put us in trouble so long as we are situated on to the lotus feet of on the lotus feet of guru pad padma then there is no up to that point there is no question of any dissatisfaction no grievance no dissatisfaction no complain nothing can come because if you are situated in guru pad padma i mean when you are 100% sure that you are the servant of guru pad padma you have only identity when you can discover only only one and single identity in your life no other identity you are staying in america you are staying in russia no question only one identity that is you are the sevak of guru pad padma no other identity you have only and only then this kind of mind and you know, a saturated mind you can get otherwise you can feel dissatisfaction i need money where i can get money no money there i am feeling hot there should be some ac ha huh? nobody giving me honor i can arrange honor myself i can ignore everybody i can arrange the situation in such a way so that everybody can insult them and they can honor me this kind of question can come this can prove that you are deviated from the track of guru pad padma otherwise this kind of situation can never arise you write in diary if you have your you know bhakti appropriate you can go and search one by one then you can understand actually point is that we forget we know but still we forget we know that we are going to die short we know you ask everybody you are going to die or not oh, yes i am also going to die everybody can speak that is that, that is not that direct relation if i ask you you are going to die well yes i am going to die you can speak everybody can speak 
But that is not your direct realization. That is not your direct realization. That day you can realize hundred percent. That day, that day you can realize hundred percent that I am going to die any time, any moment. Any time, any moment, I can go away from this material world. So, what is the utility of this building? What is the utility of honor, position? But what is the utility? Of course, Vaishnava Pratishta they can give. This is used for Harikatha Kendra. I am not speaking about it. I mean, I am speaking about attachment. This is Harikatha Center. Okay, very nice. But you can check up where I am staying. Then you can understand that Maharaj is not passing any lecture. If you go and check up where I am staying, then you can know he is not passing lecture surely. Otherwise, all of you can misunderstand me. Main point, main point is that a Vaishnava cannot have any hostility with anybody, enmity with anybody. This main point you forget. Whenever Prabhupada is speaking heavily, whenever Santo Goswami is heavily, when Kesav Goswami is heavily, is there no thing other way speaking this way? No etiquette, you think so? But you cannot, you cannot understand that their mercy is overflowing. You cannot understand positive way. You can think negative way. That their mercy, their mercy overflowing. They are crying for me. I am misled. I am going wrong direction. See, you like to save me. You cannot think that way. You cannot think I know. You can think negative way. Hey, so this kind of, no, he is speaking this way. You can think this. When Vindavan Das Chakur is speaking, I can kick on the head of those idiot people, those, those who are not going to obey, understand the dignity of Nityananda, even after giving this kind of argument, so kind of Siddhanta Bisha, then I can kick on them. He can say, no, he is not Vaishnava. I am Vaishnava. I was speaking that day, na? It is the Siddhanta Bisha of Prabhupada. Don't forget. When I want to project myself as the Vaishnav, I told that day, don't forget this vital point. Anybody, it is applicable for me, you, for anybody. Whenever I like to project myself as a great Vaishnav, then Papa speaking, in that case, I am branded of Vaishnav. I am branded of Vaishnav. One stamp is there, I am not Vaishnav. Branded of Vaishnav. Follow? You forget this Siddhanta Vishal. You are caught in the network of those foolish people. That's clever. They like to cheat you. But I can do. I have nothing to do. Question of direct realization is more important than your exhibition. I know you are opening exhibition that you are a great devotee, Tilak, Mala, singing, joining. But I am less interested about exhibition. I am interested about your, how much realization you develop inside your heart. Because without direct realization, without your direct realization, your bhajan is zero, zero. Any achajyo preaching without direct, direct realization, all zero. Sila Bhakti Vallabh Tittu Krishna used to say, without Anugatha, perfect, all zero, zero, zero used to say, repeatedly, shouting. It's big problem. How to make you understand that I am crying for you? How to make you understand? That is the main problem. You are not ready to accept all strict Siddhanta Vichar, or at all you are hearing, you are thinking he is speaking right. But for whom he is speaking? About whom he is speaking? Somebody asking, he is speaking so heavily. Right Siddhanta, everything right. But for whom he is speaking? I am asking you, for whom I am speaking? I am asking to you. You don't understand. I am speaking for you all. Those who are against Gauriya 
those who are against Prabhupada, those who are deviated from Prabhupada, for all everybody. Not for any single person. I have no enmity with anybody. Be sure. If you ask me for whom you are speaking so heavily, I am speaking clearly, I am speaking for you all. I am speaking for you all. Those who are deviated from Prabhupada, those who are going to criticize Gauriyamad, those who are totally deviated from Prabhupada, for all you are speaking. Okay, for all, what do you like to do? Main point is that direct relation is most important thing. After reading, so, after reading so many books, after going through so many books, after doing so many and you know, so many external seva for Guru Vaishnav, so many things I am doing. But after that, realization empty. The room, the room of realization empty. What is the utility? Room of realization empty. No realization, no bhajan. Each and every fraction of second, your bhajan can give you direct realization. It is direct bhajan. So, I am going to die. Everybody can speak like that. Everybody can speak like that. I am going to die. But do you realize that you are going to die? If it is your direct realization, if it is your direct realization, that any time I can go away from this material world, then surely you cannot speak anything against Guru Vaishnava. Direct reaction that you are going to die, but you will stay. Only the kripa of Guru Vaishnava, only the kripa of only the kripa of Guru Vaishnava is my net assets. Is my net assets. A guru can be known by his etiquette, by his anugatha, sampradayik faith. Many times, like mathematics, I am going to give formula. But idiot world, they don't have to understand. I am giving all formula through which you can detect. But still they are less interested. They are not ready to accept. A Vaishnav, a Sadhu, can be known by his Guru Anugatva, by his Guru Anugatva, by his Sampradayak Nistha, by his full dedication unto the lotus feet of Guru Patma, and at the same time, you can discover he is less interested to collect La Puja Patishta for himself. Whatever he is doing for Guru Vishnu Bhagavan, he is less interested to collect La Puja Patishta. That day I was speaking, you can remember. A Vaishnav, a pure Sadhu, a pure Vaishnav can never demand any credit, any credit, credit for any speciality he has or any special thing he has done, for that he is never going to demand or deserve any credit for that. We Gauriyas, we Gauriyas, we Gauriyas, we never demand any deserve or demand any credit for any speciality in our life. Any speciality or any special thing in done. For that they are not going to demand. They think it like stool and urine. Stool and urine is more important than this kind of stool and urine because this is compared with the stool of pig. Jorero Padishtha Sukarira Vishtha. Jorero Padishtha. Material Pratishtha. Ah, so much preaching. You preach in front of yourself. You preach in front of yourself, your preaching is wrong. I am not speaking lie. If I speak wrong, I can burn up. I am in Basasan. I have no right to speak any. Seems superficial. I cannot speak any lie. But people don't like to. They are less interested to hear all this. In whole world, if you search, you cannot find even one, two, three, four, 
very limited people. Those who are ready to accept absolute truth. One, two, three, four. Hold, you make comb operation all over the world. I am not speaking lie. You make a comb operation all over the world and try to show me who is interested to accept absolute truth. Absolute truth, who is ready or at all forcefully coming to me to hear, cannot digest, develop loose motion, cannot digest, hear. Oh. After that, it develop stomach problem, loose motion, cannot digest. So everybody, each and everybody in the world can accept absolute Siddhanta Vichar, this is not good, I cannot expect. This is foolish conception. I cannot expect that each and everybody all over the world, they are ready to accept absolute. Then why you are not, why they are going against me? Why they are fighting? Because they have some biasness. Their life is not dedicated. Somehow they come, somehow they come in bhajan line, but they are, they are, make, they are keeping track both way. Maya and bhajan. Oh, it's uh, sometimes there. Okay, no problem. Adjustment. Adjustment they are doing. But no adjustment can be made. In Hari Bhajan, no adjustment can be made. So, Jorero Pratishtha, Sukaruro Vishtha. So, material Pratishtha, all different kind of Pratishtha, people giving girl and everything, all can be compared to the stool of pig. Pig going to eat stool eater. Pig going to eat stool, at the same time going to pass stool. So what kind of quality you can expect? Yes. So it is my request unto the lotus feet of all devotees, all irrespective of their, you know, country or whatever they are, guru, whatever they are, I am not... Uh, it is my request unto the lotus feet of all devotees all over the world that please try to identify the exact reason for why you have come in bhajan. First of all, you try to identify. You try to identify the reason for why you have come in bhajan. To, to, to accept absolute truth, or to accept some false Siddhanta Vichar. To accept all absolute Siddhanta Vichar and to, you know, and to prepare your life accordingly. You are ready? Popa told Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami. Popa told the moment, the moment you are going to realize something, Papa speaking, the moment you are going to realize life is for two days, self-interrogation. I must know about that absolute truth, this kind of desire, desire, this kind of desire, a little bit. The moment you develop this kind of desire, Papa speaking, from then onward, you should not, you should not waste, you, you should not waste even fraction of a second, Baba told. The moment you realize something, well, my life is for two days. After that, what will happen? Who can save me? Where I can go? This body, what will? You can realize. The moment you realize something, from then onward, you should not waste even a fraction of a second in your life. In Upanishad, you can find one sloka. In Upanishad, you, are, you can find one sloka. Uttishtata jagrata prapa varana nivodhato khurasya dhara nishitaya durgam pathastat kavayo vadanti. Uttishtata, why you are sleeping like a dead man? Why you are sleeping like a dead man? Huh? You should have your life. Your life is not there. You are a dead man. Prana chijar seitu pachar. Shikai sharanagoti bhaktir prana. Papa speaking. Prana chijar seitu. No life. 
no life, but I am going for fishing. Are you are dead body? You are mobile dead body. You are going for fishing? You are going for fishing, what you can do? Prana chajar sehtu prachar. If there is no life, no preaching. Life means, life means, Bhakti Mata was speaking, Shikhai Saranagati Bhaktir Pran. The life and soul of bhajan is your Saranagati unto the lotus feet of a perfect Sadguru. Mani perfect Sadguru. That is the Pran life. So Upanishad is going to, so Upanishad is going to knock your door like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Going each and every door and knock. Hey, get up, get up, what you are doing? Knock each and every door. Nityananda Prabhu, Haridas. Mahaprabhu knocking every door. What you are doing? Get up, get up. But nobody. You can show me consciousness. Consciousness level. You can show me the consciousness level of a common mass consciousness. Consciousness level. How far? Consciousness level, how far? Low consciousness level. Low consciousness. So Upanishad speaking, so Upanishad speaking, Uttishtato Jagrata Bhappa Parana. Hey, you are foolish. Why you are not taking, accepting the all, all benediction? Who is, who is waiting for you? All benediction from our, you know, from our Guru Varga, or, you know, big, big Sadhu Guru Vaishnava, Rishi Manish. All benediction waiting for you. But you foolish, you are not, is a great treasure. Those sages, those sages after long deliberation have given us immense amount of treasure. But we are less interested to accept. We like to lead our life, we like to lead our life fancifully, wrong way. Follow. India is a land of spiritual cultivation. India is a land of spiritual spiritual cultivation. Those sages, after long deliberation, have given us immense treasure. Invaluable. It is waiting for us. The Guru Varga speaking, come, come, accept. I have huge amount of treasure. You you not? But we don't need. We like we need dollar, pound. We don't need. What you can do? What is the utility? This is a condition. After that, this dollar, this pound cannot come to your use. So you will have to collect some amount of bhajan, currency. In that, in that wall, that kind of currency, I mean bhajan power can go. Here, this kind of currency, a paper, paper. This paper. You go to heaven with, uh, with some uh, big amount of money in heaven. Heaven, they, this, this is not an exchange. Even you go here to some other country, you will have to change your money, exchange your money. The currency. Otherwise, they can. So, use common sense. This currency, what is available here, you find utility. This currency is not effective there, even in other country. What to speak about heaven? What is there? Bhur, Bhubaswa, Mahajano, Taposhutto, or what about Boykunta Laga? Eh? What you can do? No, this currency they cannot throw. Huh? Useless. We need other kind of currency. Bhajan power. Guru, Guru Bal. So, Uttishtata Jagrata Prapa Varano Nibodhato, and this. Human life, it is compared with, it is compared with a very nice example. We are walking over a sharp aged sword. Sword, you know, sword? Sword? There is one fine edge, very sharp. If you touch finger, cut. We are walking over a sharp edge, sword. This is our life. This is our life. Follow. 
we are following Sonatan Dharma. We are following Sonatan Dharma. Like Bhakti Vala Pritha Goswami Maharaj. What, what, what we are doing? We are following Sonatan Dharma. Or what we are doing? We are joking. One question. Dronachal Parvat. Drona you think Dronachal Parvat Maharaj is inanimate object? No. They have all spiritual life. Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati, Godavari, Himalaya, you know, Gandha Madam, they are spiritual figure. India, Bharat Mata, I have all. But we don't understand. So, Dronachal Parvat, I mean, the son of Dronachal Parvat is Giriraj Maharaj. Though we know Giriraj Maharaj is equal to Krishna, but still, in the material world, going to show this kind of example. Eh? Dronachal Parvat. Dronachal Parvat one day asking one question to Hunumanji Maharaj. New thing we never, you never heard. New, new thing we never heard in your life. So, Dronachal Parvat asking to, Dronachal Parvat asking to Hunumanji Maharaj, Maharaj, I have one question. What question you have? Uh, actually, what is Sanatan Dharma? Uh, my mind is confusion. After watching all world, they are speaking all, we are following Sanatan Dharma. But actually, what is the meaning of Sanatan Dharma? Sanatan Dharma means Shada Tanoti Iti Sanatan. You don't know Sanskrit. Shada, Shada means ever. Shada Tanoti, ever propagating. Shada Tanoti Iti Sanatan. Eternally present and propagating Dharma is called Sanatan Dharma. And Hunumanji Maharaj giving one very fantastic answer, by the help of which you can learn something. Hunumanji Maharaj giving answer, giving answer to Dronachal Parva. Dronachal Parva asking, Maharaj, I like to know the definition of Sanatan Dharma. Hunumanji Maharaj speaking, you like to hear? Okay. There is so many definitions, but I am speaking giving answer so that you can get you know some special reply we can learn something shadatanuti okay it's okay no problem it's 100 percent okay it's okay but hunmanji mara speaking krite pratikritam esha dharma sanatanaha krite pratikritam esha dharma sanatana sanatan dharma mean how I know you are established in Sanatan Dharma? How you know I am established? I can speak lie? You can test me? Or I can test you? What is a. Krite Pratikritam, Esha Dharma Sanatana. Those who are established in Sanatan Dharma, that is their special characteristics, feature. That if somebody doing something for him, if somebody doing something, some benefit to him, he's always, how, what I can do for him? What I can do? He has done so many things for me. Like Krishna. Like Krishna. Are in infinity world, in infinity world, if you search, what we can give to Krishna? In infinity world, if you search, what we can give to Krishna? Krishna is saturated. But still, Krishna teaching us. Same thing, what Hunamandi Maharaj told. Same thing, but you forget. You cannot tally. You cannot tally. Hunamandi Maharaj speaking, Krite Pratikritam Esha Dharma Sanatana. Or Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, to Gopikas or Brajabhasis, Whatever you have done, whatever you have done for me, if I am going to live, if I am going to live a long life like a demigods, still I cannot pray to you. Bhagavan speaking, speaking. Bhagavan speaking, speaking. I cannot. Bibudayu shayfuva. 
you get satisfied by your own highness. Please, please, you get satisfied by your own highness. I have nothing to give you. Bhagavan Sikh is speaking. I am sold to you. That is called Bhagavad Dharma. Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking. I cannot pay to Guru Maharaj. I cannot pay to Prabhupada. I cannot pay to Bhaktivinoda Thakur. I cannot pay to Siddhar Maharaj. I cannot pay. I can never pay. I can never pay. It is not possible. The kind of benefit, the kind of benefit I have received from them, Guru Varga, I can never pay them. I can never pay. This is called Bhagavad Dharma. Even a Gurudev is grateful to all disciples. He has done so many things for me. I couldn't do anything like Tita Goswami Maharaj. Even disciple is writing one lady with miracle. That disciple, old man, is speaking to me. Speaking to uh, you know, some devotee and uh, actually you see Gurudev writing me. Gurudev, Gurudev writing me Dandavat Pranam. Gurudev writing me Dandavat Pranam. Gurudev expressing great you know, gratitude to disciple. Popat also going to express gratitude to disciple. I am always expressing gratitude to you all. Pay Dandavat Pranam to you all. You know or don't know. Please try to confirm it. Because I know you all going to protect me. Maya cannot touch me. But you are keeping a close watch on me, what Maharaj is doing. So you are all protecting me all the time. Different way you are going to help Maya. Cooperate me in my Guru Shiva. You are all, you know, try to cooperate me in my Guru Shiva. Hello. You are expressing your uh, concern for my health, whereas I feel I am okay, very nice, healthy. Or you say, no, Maharaj is uh, bad health. You can take him forcefully. You can take Maharaj. I am okay. I can run. I can show you I am okay. No, you are not okay. That can prove that you have love for me. That proof. If you are not going to think that way, you can think, that uh, our Gurudev is, uh, Bhakti Mahapur is sick, is a material body. It is one kind of opportunity Gurudev giving to serve. Otherwise, Kishnodas Babaji Maharaj I told, I forget to say that day, Kishnodas Babaji Maharaj never wanted to take any seva from anybody. A miracle. Somebody, Maharaj, no seva. No seva, he is less interested to take any seva. And if you are going to ask Babaji Maharaj, how is your health? If you pay Dandavat, Maharaj, how is your health? You are okay? Babaji Maharaj become very angry. Hey, go, 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 go. If you ask him by chance, how is your health? He become very angry. Hey, go, 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 go. No time, go. But if you come and pay Dandavat, Maharaj, how to do bhajan? We are in confusion. Please speak something for us to deliver us. If it, we cannot understand, cannot do bhajan, we are in Maya. Sit, 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 sit here. Then Bhavaji Maharaj can make you sit here. Sit. And if there is any prasadam, give to you and speak Harikatha and Kirtan. But if you by chance speak, how you are the hell? He become very angry. Hey, go, 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 go. Because Bhavaji Maharaj never want to. One, Babaji Maharaj Baba never want to concentrate. Babaji Maharaj never want to concentrate in body. A concentration is other place. If you can catch my attention and put in my body, you will have to take 6 o'clock with this medicine, 7 o'clock, very useless. I have no time, I am feeling problem. Who can give me hot water, cold water, lukewarm water? Are I like to throw my body. No time. What I can do? <laughs> is like, has a big problem for me. So this way, you see, you should remember. 
Anumanji Maharaj speaking, if somebody doing something for me, specially about my about my spiritual development, Atma Gyan, try to understand. If some some of you, if some of you going to give something to me so that I can develop my Atma Gyan, then I can never forget you. This is called actual contribution, what Pope had told. Hanumanji Mar wanted to speak this way actually, in a meaning. If my Gurudev, if, if my Gurudev going to deliver me, but I am bonded soul, I cannot understand the mercy of Guru Pātva. I am speaking all rubbish to Guru Pātva. And not only that, but also I am going against Guru Pātva. Foolish. He liked to give me something which is concrete. For infinity period, that property, what Guru Vaishnava is going to give me, what Guru Vaishnava is going to give me, you can keep with you for infinity period. No depreciation. No depreciation. But this is a condition. So, Krithe Pratikrita Mesha Dharma Sanataha. I can also show you in wildlife, wildlife, wildlife. You know wildlife? Wildlife in the forest. Wildlife. See, even Bharti Maharaj was, used to give this example. I also give. I know. It's from, uh, from uh, Spain or Greece, I forget. One story, very nice. The actual. Bharti Maharaj also used to say. Because you know, that time it was a system, slavery system, you know. That time there was a slavery system, slavery. They can buy you and sell you in market. You will have to go to anybody who is going to buy you, you will have to give service, otherwise they can beat you. Slavery system, slavery. Apartheid system was effective in Africa. Slavery system in Rome and uh, before that, Greece, everywhere. Everywhere, there this kind of system was there. Slavery system. They can buy you and sell in a market and you will have to give service. Give, if you cannot give service, they can start beating you. Even 24 hours, they cannot allow to take rest. Like beast. One day, one day, one slave, one slave, one slave, by chance sleep, one slave, one servant, missing, gone, gone from the custody of, of the owner, somehow gone. The man wanted to enjoy liberty, everybody, you also, who not, everybody, everybody, who not, they like to enjoy liberty. But those who are really intelligent, what they can do? They like to follow Guru Vaishnava. Because this is not liberty. What you are enjoying, what you are enjoying, this is not liberty. That is called double bondage. That is called double bondage. What liberty you are enjoying now, what liberty what you are enjoying now, it is called double bondage. You don't know. You think it is liberty. Follow. We want to be controlled by that supreme divinity. We want to be controlled by Guru Vaishnava. We want to. But whole world want to be controlled by Maya. They think it is liberty. But not liberty. It is called Double bondage. To be under the control, to be under the control of Guru Vaishnav, to be under the control of Guru Vaishnav is called actual liberty. Because you can reach Vaikuntha Jagat, but you forget, you misunderstand. Simply because I am speaking so heavy. But can you prove that I am speaking lie? I am speaking heavy, not for my personal benefit. I want to open your eyes, that is my fault. 
That's why you like to kick me. That's why you like to kick me, I know. Because I like to open your eyes. That's why you become very angry with me. That's why you are very angry with me. You like to kick me. Simply because I like to open your eyes. And they, they like to, they like to apply brown sugar. They like to apply brown sugar so that you can feel very, very nice. They like to apply brown sugar. They never, they never like to, they never, they, never, they never like to help you to get up from your sleeping. You are actually sleeping forever. You are actually sleeping. You have to get up. Grow consciousness. How I can develop consciousness? If my consciousness level is dropping, if my consciousness my, if my consciousness level is dropping, how I can help others to consciousness? I can help others to develop consciousness. My consciousness, I am, I am lacking consciousness. I am myself lacking consciousness. How I can help you? Consciousness is sold in a market. I can give you two thousand dollar. You can give me some consciousness. Not that. Not that. By force you cannot. This is the. This is such a. In this field, you cannot apply any force. You can apply force in the material world. It can show you a money power, man power, all of you. But that all, the, all your power is obsolete, useless. No power. But power you can show. Any amount of power, man power, money power, not effective. But you like to live, you live, you like to live, you like to fight on the strength of money power, manpower. This is the only property. They like to keep you sleeping. They like to keep you sleeping. They like to keep you sleeping for infinity period. Chaitanya Bhagavad there. I am speaking. They like to keep you sleeping for infinity period so that they can cut your pocket. Only they are interested only you with your pocket. They are what? I can show you I bring because you cannot believe. I can show you Bhakti Minutakur book I bring. So to, you don't understand Bengali what I can do. I am explaining for a long time under the guidance of Bhakti Minutakur. But still to show you so that those who are hearing after this harikatha, they can think, Maharaj, why is speaking so heavy? Against whom I am speaking? I am speaking for you all. Okay? This is my answer. I am speaking for you all, those who are going against Gauriyamat, those who are going against Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami, those going at Nityananda Gauranga Mahapur, I am speaking for you all. Okay? This is my answer. For whom Maharaj speaking? For you all I am speaking. Try to rectify yourself. Popa told, Popa told, try to concentrate your mind to rectify yourself. Don't try to rectify others. It is my, it is my advice to you all. It is my advice to you all. If you are at all interested about your spiritual progress, it is my advice to you all. Don't try to concentrate about anybody's fault. Don't try to rectify themselves, anybody. Rather, I would request you, you try to rectify yourself. There is countless fault there with you. There is countless fault there with you. Why you are going to consider, you are doing, you are doing, what you are doing? Huh? What you are doing? So, this is very important. This is very important, what I told, what is called, they like to make you sleeping forever. This is their preaching. Or even, if there is a, li a little, a little amount of, you know, consciousness there, 
so that that amount of consciousness also can you can lose they can arrange because if you develop consciousness you can discover their naked man if you develop consciousness you can go right. i like to open your eyes if you open oh is naked naked all they are naked i like to open your eyes if you open oh it's a big big acharya what they are speaking they are wrong they are all siddhant virod all they are vaishnav aparad and i can give you countless example where where you like to go to bhagavat you like to go chaitanya bhagavat chaitanya chaitanya mahaprabhu you know chaitanya mahaprabhu can help you anyway but chaitanya mahaprabhu cannot help you if you are vaishnav aparadhi it is written even chaitanya mahaprabhu wanted to give some kipa to a to a sanyasi who is keeping mataji dari sanyasi chaitanya bhagavad you read you can find dari sanyasi even mahaprabhu wanted to show some kipa to them but mahaprabhu less interested about those who are doing about those who are doing vaishnav apara বৈষ্ণবের বৈষ্ণব নিন্দক নিন্দুকের গতি বৈষ্ণব নিন্দুকের গতি নাই নেভার নেভার মহাপ্রভু ক্যান নেভার এক্সকিউজ ইট ইজ রিটিন আই অলরেডি কপি ইন পেপার আই ক্যান গিভ ইউ দ্য নাম্বার অফ দ্য বার্ডস ইউ ক্যান গো ইট ইজ রিটিন বৃন্দাবন দাস ঠাকুর মহাসভ মহাপ্রভু রেডি টু ডু এনিথিং ফর ইউ প্রোভাইডেড দেয়ার ইজ নো বৈষ্ণব অপরাধ বাট ইজ দেয়ার বৈষ্ণব অপরাধ for infinity beyond gorang mapu cannot be us and bhakti vinod tak speaking vaishnava charitra sadai pavitro je ninde hingsha kori bhakti vinod na sambhase tare sada thake mauno dhori you don't understand bengali bhakti vinod tak speaking vaishnava charitra sadai pavitro vaishnava charitra is always pure Vaishnav charitra always pure, always pure. But still, if somebody out of enviousness, envious attitude, going to criticize them, then Bhakti Mata was speaking, Vaishnav charitra sadai pavitra je ninde hingsha kori. Out of jealousy, if somebody going to you know, criticize, Bhakti Mata was keeping silence, Bhakti Mata was keeping silence, don't like to talk with them even don't like to look at them bhakti mata writing in kirtan vaishnava charitra sadai pavitra je ninde hingsha kori bhakate vinod na sambhase tare sada thake mauno dhori so what i can do what i can do what solution what solution i am barking like a street dog who is going to hear me but some day maybe after 200 100 200 years they can realize that their acharya wanted to cheat them i am besasan maybe after 100 years you cannot find me on this world i'm sure 100% this kind of consciousness you know people can be there must be there otherwise bhagwan is not there bhagwan can help some day they can realize that he was so heavy wanted to speak severely but that was not enmity that was only solution that is not enmity only solution so the example i wanted to give that the slave i mean the slave missing he running and running and running gone into forest he gone into forest there was some nearby forest he enter into forest to hide himself to fly go away but by chance that day there was a torrential rain there was torrential rain and lightning thunderbolt there is torrential rain and thundering a thunderbolt and lightning and the man the cold weather you know shaking with no clothes no clothes shaking 
Somehow, he wanted to take shelter in a cave. There was a cave. He takes shelter in a cave. But in the cave, he could not realize that there was one lion in the cave. Inside that cave, there was a lion. He could not realize. He was standing, but getting some bad smell. When, by chance, there was a big lightning, he discovered that inside there is a lion. But the lion is crying. I mean, tears rolling down his cheeks. And his blood coming from his paws, paws, you know, paws, hand. This. There is some problem. Somehow in the forest, a cart in the jungle, the, that lion cannot go, blood, blood coming out. Then, in the, just in the morning time, that slave, that man, going to collect some, you know, from trees, you know, some herb, the kind of forest is knowing. He collecting some herb, going to paste, and going to put in the paws of that, you know, lion, and his wound, this, only this cloth is going to tear and put a bandage. Bandage there. Lion not speaking anything. Because lion can understand that he is giving me treatment. He loves me. By chance, all the troops of that man, I mean the owner, searching that man, very costly, no? And by chance, they catch that man from the forest and take away, get, take, the, take him away. And that owner, that owner want to give him punishment. What kind of punishment? That time, that man was so cruel, cruel that he wanted to arrange one fighting between lion and man. Those days, you can go through Greece, Romans, yeah. they used to arrange fighting between lion and man or bull, bull fighting. That uh, on those days, eh, there, Bulgaria, or there, so many places there, they used to do. So, the lion was also caught. Lion was also caught. And the, there was a one big, they arranged one big, you know, play, you know, playground. They make one area within which that man and one lion can fight with each other. And all, you know, men, viewers can stay in a gallery. All in gallery, full gallery. They buy ticket and sitting in the chair to watch the fighting between the man and the lion. Follow? A lion was there inside the cage. He was, he was, a lion was allowed to enter into the cage and uh, the area with net, network already there. And the man was pushed, pushed inside. Go! Follow? And now everybody enjoying their life and now fighting can take place. The man is also healthy. Then the lion from there can watch, I have one man, nice, nice meal. I, now today I find nice meal, running, running and going to jump on the man. But whenever that lion is going to get the smell of that man, oh, is not going to attack that man. Because that man wanted to give this medicine, I mean, Follow. Herb, herbal medicine, the lion going to remember by smell. Oh, that man, my benefactor, he wanted to give me treatment. Oh, he's not going to attack. All people wonder, why? Lion not going to attack me, it's absurd. It cannot so happen, but it can so happen. Because they are beast, and we are more than beast. That's why we cannot remember when Guru Vaishnava doing something for me. So, I am, I, am, I am more than a beast. A beast can also express some gratitude. A beast can express some gratitude. It is a nature. Just a, a, a few days ago, some message came. 
one hunter wanted to steal the cup, tiger cup. But one man wanted to save that tiger. A one hunter wanted to steal when that cup and going to fly. Go away. But that man wanted to wanted to take that cup from that man forcefully and give back to mother. Follow. Give back to mother. Someday he is from village area. I mean he is staying in forest life. That man who wanted to save that beast. I mean someday three tigers, two or three tigers going to attack that man. And that mother tiger was there. Mother tiger wanted to stop them attack man. Mother tiger fighting with two, 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 three tigers. Cannot allow them to attack that man. Because can remember, that was the man who wanted to save my baby. Now you understand why I give this example? I am more than a beast. I cannot remember. What kind of seva Guru Vaishnava has done for me? What kind of benefit they have done for me? I cannot remember. Even a beast can remember. But I cannot remember. How strange. But I already told that Vaishnava Dharma means Sanatana Dharma. Sanatana Dharma means Sanatana Dharma means each and, each and every step each and every step we are going to express our gratitude to all Guru Vaishnava. All. This is our Vaishnava Dharma, Sanatana Dharma. Each and every fraction of second, we are going to express gratitude for all Guru Vaishnava. This is our Vaishnava Dharma. That Bhagavan Sri Krishna teaching to us, that Ramchandra going to teaching us, that Gauranga Mahapu going to teach us, Na, na pare aham, na pare aham, niravadda sangyujam, jama avajano durjano greho singhala sangvrishya tadva pratiyatu sadhana. Na pare aham, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to all Gopikas. I can never pay you, I can never pay you. If I am going to get the long life like a demigod, still I am failure. I cannot pay you. No pare aham niravadda sangyujam ja ma abhajano durjana greho sankhala sangvrishya tadva pratiyatu sadhana. You get satisfied. Please you get satisfied by your highness. Because I have nothing to pay you. What I can pay? If I like to speak to Guru Mahara, I can pay you. <laughs> I am gobbed, idiot. What I can pay? In Shastra it is written, in Shastra it is written, even, I, even if I am going to learn one word, in Shastra it is written, if I am going to learn even one word from one Guru Vaishnava, I cannot pay that Gurudev by selling the whole world. Follow. At present, all the behaviors of Srila Bhakti Vala Tittu Goswami Maharaj, all his etiquette, everything. It is one kind of example for us. Actually, in practical, you cannot get. Bhakti Vala Tittu Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Vedanto Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj, they are all example. It is one idealism. We can put the I get a standard. This is a standard, okay, we can watch and we can go ahead. Because, because without any target, you cannot, you can never come out successful. Target must be there in your life. Target must be there in, in your spiritual life or any life. No target, how you can go? <coughs> so, Prabhupada always speaking, there, Prabhupada always used to say, there, there must be, there should be one unique idealism in front of us by watching which 
we can get inspiration to go ahead, follow what I say. If I am going in the battlefield, the commander, commander can guide me. If I find that commander, it's, commander himself is a coward, then I cannot get any inspiration. Can get? Eh? Are a commander going to guide me? Go! Give your life for motherland. I can give. I am ready to give my life for my Guru Varga. I openly speak to everybody. Who, who like to kill me? Who like to kill me? Come. I like to give life for my Guru Varga. Even one freedom fighter like to give life for, for motherland. I cannot give life for Popa. Do you think I am so cheap, so cheap minded? I cannot give life for Popa, Bhakti Vinayak. I cannot give. Bhakti Vinayak Thakur one day, one day, Bhakti, one day, no many times, but some special case. Bhakti Vinayak was speaking. Bhakti Vinayak was speaking that only Bimala Prasad can protect and preserve Sautapantha. Gauravani, Bhakti Mahatma Thakur was bound to speak. Bhimala Prasad, Bhimala Prasad can protect and preserve Shautha Pantha. How wonderful, Bhakti Mahatma Thakur speaking. After hearing the report of Bali Ghai, Bali Ghai, our Bhakti Pradip Tittha Maharaj, I already told about him. Bhakti Pradip Tittha Maharaj was sent to foreign country. Jagadish Prabhu, who received Kipa from Bhakti, from Bhakti Thakur, Gaur Kishore Baba. I told you, you forget what I can do. You must remember everything. Jagadish Prabhu was speaking, I mean, Bhakti Pradip Tittha Goswami Maharaj. That I was there in, I, Bhakti Pradip Tittha Maharaj speaking. I was there in Bali Ghai, in Mennipur. There was a big assembly to pass judgment about Vaishnav Brahman. Brahman Vaishnav, you heard, na? There was a big fighting between Brahman and Vaishnava. Who is superior to whom? Then Bhakti Mahatma Thakur was expressing Sikh Lira. Bhakti Mahatma was giving blessing to Prabhupada. You can go. You can establish Siddhanta. Then Prabhupada going. Wonder if I go on speaking life after life, I cannot finish. The glories of Prabhupada and Bhakti Mahatma Thakur. Follow. Jagadish Prabhu was there in the assembly. And the great Acharya in the line of Shamananda Parivar is Vishambarananda Goswami. I have the picture of that man. I have books and picture of that man. I have books and picture of that man. But in Bengal, Sanskrit. I collect it. I like him very much. He is in Shamananda Parivar. Is a great Siddhanta Bid. Great Siddhanta Bid. About whom? About whom? About whom Prabhupada told? Vimala Prasad. About whom Prabhupada told? I have never seen, I have never seen such a wise person who is having a vast knowledge about Shat Sandarbha. Shat Sandarbha, six Sandarbhas. Prabhupada. Prabhupada was bound to speak. I have never seen such a great you know, sadhu who is having full knowledge of six, six sandarvas. So intelligent. A prakita bishar. And that Vishwamarananda Goswami, he was appointed, he, want, he was appointed as the president because the speaker is Prabhupada. The, the assembly, the assembly was, the assembly was presided over, the assembly was presided over by Vishwamarana Dev Goswami. He wanted to request Vimala Prasad, you must solve this problem. You must solve this problem. Thousands of Pandit, lakhs of men, thousands of people are around the field. And Prabhupada, like lion, Bhakti Pradip Tittha Maharaj was present in the assembly. She is speaking. The appearance of Prabhupada was just like lion. He is speaking. I can show you that if you can read Bengali. He is speaking. When Prabhupada wanted to establish Siddhanta, wanted to, wanted to 
establish, uh, wanted to establish the dignity of Raghunath Das Goswami. Because those Sahajiyas, those idiot Pandits, they used to believe that Raghunath Das Goswami took birth in a low family. Prabhupada wanted to protect and preserve Siddhanta Bishar. Pratipada Chittu Goswami speaking, I have never seen such a figure like hundreds of sun god there. Prabhupada burning like fire. Prabhupada giving answer. And all Pandit, they shut up. They are like rascal, they shut up. They have no power to speak. So, to establish Siddhanta Bishar is not Aparat. Whole world in confusion. Why is Baba speaking this way? Must be doing Aparat. Yes, if I am doing Aparat, I can fall down. I cannot speak Harikatha. But I am not doing Aparat. I want to establish the dignity of my Guru Bhargav. That much I can do. I must do. I must do. You cannot stop me. If you would like to hear me, you can hear. You can go away. I am not going to request you. But if you need, if you like to meet with Bhagavan, if you like to enter into eternal life, you must come to me to hear about Prabhupada. Otherwise you go anywhere you like. You get lost. I am less interested. So, Bhakti Thakur speaking, Bhimala Prasad is a suitable personality, a deputed personality, deputed messenger of Bhagavan coming here. Who can protect and preserve our Gauravani? So we need, we don't need so many countless Acharya. We need one Acharya. We need one Acharya who can protect all Siddhanta Vichars Gauravani can protect. Bhakti Vala Tittu Goswami Maharaj, his Anugatha, what I can speak. Very shortly, article is written. I am also compiling so many things I like to publish, maybe one or two days more. This kind of Guru Anugatha is just one kind of example for us. Maybe we cannot touch, but you can see the example. This example, target. So, Prabhupada speaking, until and unless there is one firing personality of example, until and unless this kind of firing personality is not there, we common devotees cannot get any power to do Hari Bhajan. Follow. Even in, even in Political field, those who are freedom fighters, in the night time, 12 o'clock, night time, 12 o'clock, night time, in the, in the forest, Master Surjo Sen giving lecture to all young, young batch, young man. Night time, 12 o'clock, because British people can catch him. So, night time, 12 o'clock, he is going to give lecture in front of all young badge, firing speech, all fire, blood boiling. And then Master is asking, who, who among you like to give life for motherland? We all like to give life. So you see. Who among you like to give life for motherland? They are speaking, we all like to give mother. You see. Even the, if in, you know, freedom fighting, there's all young men going to give life. We cannot give life for, we cannot give life. We are so coward. We are so coward, so, eh? so coward. Eh? We cannot give life for Prabhupada and Bhakti Mithaku to establish Siddhanta. Simply, be, simply because whole world can go against me. Simply with this fear. Eh? So, we need one remarkable personality. We need one burning Personal, lightning personality. By following him, we can get inspiration and go ahead. So at, a, at present, there can be countless acharya. But whom to follow? Why to follow? Follow? So, we think, Srila Bhakti Valla Tithu Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Vedanto Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj, they are all are Example in front of us. They are our Guru Bhargava. I never think he is our God brothers. He can speak. 
out of humble attitude, but I never confess. This kind of Guru Anugatha, this kind of Seva, evergreen, never seen. Never seen. So simple heart. Now everybody full of kapat bhav. You open your heart. If there is any leprosy, if there is any leprosy inside your heart, then Guru Vaishnav can rectify. If you want to protect your leprosy, if you like to protect your cancer inside your heart, what Guru Vaishnav, what kind of treatment I can give? Huh? What kind of treatment? Many times, Bhaktivala Sritu used to say, sometime I used to discuss something with Maharaj. Maharaj, I like to uh, do this way, Seva. You think is okay? Maharaj speaking, if your target is okay, is honest, Maharaj used to say, same way. If your, if your, if your target, if your, if your desire is honest desire to do Guru Vaishnava Seva, Nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you. You can go ahead. He used to speak to me. Many people. This kind of Guru Anugatha is really rare. Srila Bhakti Vidya Madhav Goswami Maharaj was so, so happy. So happy with the Seva of Srila Bhakti Vidya Tittu Goswami Maharaj and Bhakti Vigan Bharati Maharaj. Yes. Right hand, left hand. Always. Maharaj was so happy that he wanted to appoint him as Acharya. But he, when he came to know, when he came to know, after Gurudev gone, when he came to know about the paper, because it was secretly kept with one lawyer, I mean the will, will of the Bhakti Vita What is the future plan? After he go away, he write and the uk and the, that barrister coming in front of that in you know, assembly. I mean, in front of all GBC member going to submit the paper. That Sri Bhakti Maharaj is appointed as the acharya of this mart. Mara started. Mara bursted into tears. Mara say, I am not qualified person. I am not qualified person. I am a fallen soul. I am Bhakti Vigyan Bharati is a Brahmin, Brahmin birth. He can, can. I am not. Whereas we know he is a postgraduate, so many knowledgeable personality. He is a masterpiece of Tattagyan. Masterpiece. Masterpiece of Tattagyan. And one very important thing some very intelligent foreign devotees. They used to say in front of me, like Bindu Madhav from France. They used to say, they are a disciple of Srila Siddhu Goswami Maharaj. They used to stay with Maharaj. Also, uh, they stay with me and Maharaj we, together. Sometimes they used to say, sometimes I am not going to change even one full stop dot anything. Exact. Bindu Madhav and other devotees. They used to say, Maharaj, Sila Bhakti Vala Tittu Goswami Maharaj is such a personality, such a doctor, nice doctor, such a doctor who can give the, the exact medicine what you need. He used to pass it. He used to say, Bindu Madhav told me many times in Baranda, we were talking with each other, looking at the sky by watching the health of Maharaj, by watching the bad health. It's Lila. But still, I used to do parikram in the name of Tittu Goswami Maharaj. In the sunlight, I'm burning myself. Maharaj, Bhagavan, you keep Maharaj with us. Doing Sankalpa, doing Sankalpa in Manus Ganga. It is my determination. It is my. De I like to keep Tittu Goswami Maharaj with us for more. Bhagavan, I, I, I want to get your approval. And give. After the two parikram, I'm going to pray. This way, I wanted to keep him for a long time. What? Who am I? But still praying. Maybe my prayer can reach up to the lotus feet of Gauranga. It is our privilege. It is our privilege that we can get the association of Tithu Goswami Maharaj. But he can go away. He can go away anytime. But we like to keep him 
with us. That's why we like to do parikram, so many astuity. Maharaj, you keep him with us. Bhagavan, you keep him with us. We like to get his association. So many incidents I remember, time cannot permit what I can do. Shortage of time is the main disease. Follow. What to do? So his anugato is miracle. You cannot, you cannot, you know, explain what kind of anugato you used to say. So some devotees they used to say, Maharaj is such a nice doctor who can give the exact medicine what you need. You are developing, you are developing, you know, diabetes. I am going to give you sugar, the sweet ball, I cannot do. Then I am cruel. This is present Acharya Sip. You have fallen so. Fallen totally. Even you cannot keep your bed, nighttime bed clean. Pure Vaishnava, they are doing Vaishnava in such a way, they can, they can sleep nighttime in the bed. They can, they can sleep, but they can morning time they can do bhajan. They, but their bed is so pure. Their bed is so pure that if you wash your bed hundred times, still it is more pure. You cannot maintain purity of your bed. So they are so pure. So, so this is really a miracle. When Maharaj going away from this material world, I was in, I was in Radha Kund, speaking Harikatha Hari in front of devotees, Bengali devotees, every day. I am speaking Harikatha at the bank of Radha Kund. There is one, you heard the name Kishori Kund, uh, no, uh, it is called uh, important. Uh, my, uh, where I am doing bhajan, it is also near. Malahari Kun. Malahari Kun. I can speak about the glories of that Malahari. Near that Malahari. I used to speak. Someday in the night time, I see Maharaj looking at me with his glass down and taking a, a, a bowl of paramanna, paramanna, prasadam with bow, you know, one spoon. Looking at me, smiling, and give me Parman. I saw. I brushed it into tears, speaking this uh, fact in front of devotees, and I declared that day, I'm sure Maharaj cannot stay anymore. Then and there I declared, I'm sure Maharaj not going to stay anymore. Immediately I come back from Radha Kund, I mean from Vindavan, I run to Calcutta Chaudhya Chaitanya Gorimat, I find the same case. Maharaj is now going away just maybe any time any time now critical condition any time maharaj can go away and one of his one of his disciple i can say or according to siddhanta which i can say what to say so he started doing astuities and penances he started doing japa of mitunjaya mantra which is prohibited, is, is not allowed for Vaishnavas. Mrityunjaya Mantra of Mahadev. He started Japa. Fasting and doing mantra to keep Maharaj. Whereas, whereas it is the teachings of Prabhupada, it is the teachings of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, we should sing Mahamantra Panchutat. This is the rules. At the time of at the time, at the critical time, it is our duty to sing Panchatattva and Mahamantra. No other mantra, but he is doing. So many Punjab devotees, so many devotees, they discover me there. They discover me in the temple. I mean, I go in there. I watch Maharaj. I am sure Maharaj is not going to stay. And I was bound to request a secretary of Sila Maharaj. I was bound to request. The secretary of Maharaj, secretary of Sila Maharaj, that you please request that Maharaj, who is doing Asriti and Pinansa and doing Java and Mithunja method, to stop him. Because I am sure, Maharaj, you, we, can, we, should not, we should not apply force. 
We should not apply force to keep Maharaj. We should not apply force to Maharaj. You stop him. Stop him. He should not do. Then I, gone, I just reach here, Godrum, Godrum, and night time 10.30, Purushottam Baba ring me, Maharaj, Gurudev gone. You see, I just speak to them and come back. Night time, I come here in Bhajan Kuti, take bath and doing Naharinam. Immediately, he informed to some devotee, give the phone to Maharaj. And speaking, Maharaj gone. Because I am over sanguine. We cannot keep Maharaj. So much aparad, so much offense we have done. So much offense we have done unto the lotus feet of this great personality, exalted personality. So much offense we have done. We have no right to speak that Maharaj will stay with us. Why he can stay? Why he can stay? What you can give to him? Only you can insult him. You can try to make fool of him. That you can do. Same thing with our Guru Maharaj. When I say, you can, you, Maharaj, you can stay more. You can see the situation. What I can do by staying? He's speaking to me. What I can stay? What I can do by staying here? You see the situation. Bas. After some day, he discovered sickness. Immediately after sickness, bas. After that, Whereas the astrologer and doctors, they say, his, the heart of your Guru Maharaj is like an 18 years boy. Talk, talk like a sportsman. He can stay more 10, 12 years. If there is no disturbance, if there is no disturbance, I can put guarantee, he told. Doctor, astrologer, he can stay more 12 years. But he wanted to leave. From but I am saved. I am saved that before going to eternal world, he wanted to save me by giving this dress. He was, I was very lucky to receive last advice from Guru Maharaj. I am not making any story. I am sitting in Vyasasan. I wanted to take permission from Guru Maharaj. Do you permit me? I can stay in Vrindavan or Navadi. Guru Maharaj told me, yes. He told me. I wanted to take permission. And even, so many things I don't like to speak because it's a separate topics, you know. At the time of Guru Mahaja's disappearance or appearance, I can speak, anyway. So, Srila Bhakti Vala Tirtha Goswami Maharaj is one kind of, one kind of example for us. Example for us. Now, I have no time to recite, bring the books because you can express some doubt. You can express some doubt, I bring some books where I can, I can read what Bhakti Thakur has written. Or if not today, <coughs> today I can touch and next day I can speak. Bhakti Thakur, <coughs> Bhakti <Mani> Thakur <coughs> was expressing deep concern about the situation of our bhajan field. Bhakti Thakur speaking, the kind of teachings given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, those pageant, those pageant acharyas or preachers, they are not going to take care of the fact that this should be the exact teaching of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, what we are preaching. They themselves don't understand what is the preaching of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. They, don't, they themselves don't understand what is the exact teachings of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And they are going to speak just opposite of what Gauranga Mahaprabhu told. And in this way, they are going to bring a big danger for the world. Bhakti Mantra writing. And some devotee from Russia, some fr France, I don't know from where, they are expressing concern about whom, about whom Samba was speaking so heavily. So I already answer and speaking for you all. Those who are against Bhakti Mantra Thakur, against Prabhupada, against Siddhanta Birot, Against Gauranga Mahapu, for all of you. And especially somebody is speaking, why Maharaj not why Maharaj not speaking clearly? They are, they are speaking. They are 
they are, they are speaking to each other. Why Maharaj not speaking clearly? About whom speaking? Why should I speak clearly? Why should I speak clearly? Whereas Gaurang Mapu, whereas Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to teach me in direct speaking. In direct speech, in direct speech is more effective and favorable to Bhagavan. Bhagavan speaking, I bring because you cannot believe. I write the number. You can note. You can note the number. Eleven canto, twenty-one chapter, thirty-five slok. Eh, follow. Here it is written. Veda Brahmyatma Vishwaya Srikand Vishwaya Ime eh? Paraksha Bada Rishayoho Paraksham Cha Mama Priya. I can speak it by I speak the writing and speak here. So that you can believe me. I could speak you, but you can believe it. So I speak. Bhagavan speaking, Veda always speaking indirectly, Vedanta always speaking indirectly. Rishi, all Rishi Muni, they are speaking all indirectly. Bhagavan speaking is not speaking. I also like to speak indirectly. Bhagavan speaking. Parakshabada Risha Yoho, Paraksham Cha Mama Priya. I also like to speak indirect way, not directly. Because those who are ass and donkey, monkey, if I speak directly, even they cannot catch the point. So it's better to speak indirectly. Also, Parakshabado, Parakshabado, eh? Parakshabado Bedwayam, Parakshabado Bedwayam, Balanam, Anushasanam. So, how many examples I can again give from Bhagavatam? That Bhagavan likes to teach us to give indirectly, not directly. So, I am speaking indirectly. If you like to know the name, I can say I am speaking for you all. Especially those Acharyas who wanted to teach, misguide you, for them I am speaking. If you have anything to complain, you come to me. If you find any fault with me, if you want to prove that I am speaking right, you can come and prove. You come in front of me. So, Parakshabhadu Parakshabhadu Bedvayam Balanam Anushasanam Karma Mokshaya Karmani Vidatte Hi Agadam Jatha Jagadam Jatha I can explain these two sloka next day, no time. So, you see, the sloka I started with, what sloka I started with, you can remember? Kipa Sindhu, Shushan Puruno, Sarva Satto Pukarakaha, Nispriyo Sarvato Hoshiddho, Sarva Vidya Visharadaha, Sarva Sangsayo Sangsyatta, Anarasa Guru Ahita. This is that, this is the topmost example. This is the topmost example of Guru Tattva. This is the topmost evidence, explanation, clarification about Guru Tattva. Topmost. No other sloka is so complete. So, Srila Bhakti Valla Tittu Goswami Maharaj is complete personality. There is no shortage. You can think he is foolish, this, that, so many things. Many of his Godbadi used to say, ah, oh, everybody going to foreign country, they are going to bring lakhs, billions of dollars. Well, you are not bringing money. Maharaj used to say, I am not going to, I am not going for, I am not going to foreign country to collect money. I like to spend my money for them. They used to speak this way. You are, you are coming, no money. Every all preacher, they are going, they are bringing billions of dollars. They Maharaj used to say, I am not going to foreign country to collect money. I am going to spend my money for their benefit. I have no interest to go to foreign country. Simply because, Srila Bhakti Pono Purigashi Maharaj, give me instruction, you must go. I am a fallen soul, I don't like to go to foreign countries, full of Maya. He used to speak this way, to teach us. Anyway, I like to beg for pardon if any mistake done to his lotus feet. Someday, in Vrindavan Mart, there also, I used to speak Harikatha every day. And same problem with me. Why Mahara speaking this way? Everywhere. No other problem. No single problem. No single problem. Only one problem. Why Mahara speaking this way? So every time, I have to move to some other place. So I wrote one letter heavy with heavy heart. Because Maharaj, 
Maharaj told me, you, you can stay in our Vindavan mat and speak Harikatha. But they don't allow me to speak Harikatha. They don't allow. They think me enemy because I'm speaking of Prabhupada. So I wrote one letter, heavy letter to Maharaj with heavy heart that be sure I am the only candidate who is going to get your full kippa. I, I put guarantee in front of you. Even not your disciple. Even not any of your disciple can get kippa, full kippa. I am going to give you full, I am going to get your full kippa. Be sure about it. This kind of confidence was there. I wrote one letter to Maharaj. Maharaj was surprised. So anyway, today I pray unto his lotus feet. He bless me so that I can get power to speak about the absolute truth, absolute way, standing on absolute platform, any kind of eventuality, I am ready to face. Vāñca kalpata rūsikki pāsana. Patitānam pāvanam bhavaśnam.